constituents that I represent, do you understand why this is unacceptable to the Emirates proxies in Iraq or Syria had carried out a retaliatory strike against 10th Mount? Chair, I recognize the gentlelady from New York, Ms. Stefani. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. On the morning of January 4th, Mr. Secretary, you were in the critical care unit. The acting Secretary of Defense was vacationing in Puerto Rico, and President Biden was unaware that you were not in the chain of command. Now, as you know, I represent Fort Drum and the 10th Mountain Division, which you know well. Thank you for your service there in the North Country. But on this same date of January 4th, do you know how many 10th Mountain Division soldiers were deployed and are still deployed today in Iraq and Syria in support of Operation Inherent Resolve? Uh, I you know, I know that they are deployed. I don't know what the number is. It's just over 2,500. Mm -hmm. And on January 4th, at approximately 4 a.m. our time, the U.S. carried out a significant strike against a senior Iranian-backed leader in Iraq, correct? That's correct. And because President Biden did not know you were outside of the chain of command during this U.S. strike, if Iran or its proxies in Iraq or Syria had carried out a retaliatory strike against 10th Mountain Division soldiers, the president's chain of command would have and could have broken down, potentially delaying presidential orders to protect lives of American forces, constituents that I represent. Do you understand why this is unacceptable to the American people and to those military families? Well, well thanks. Uh, I, first of all, I would say that uh, when we're attacked, we have the, the right to defend ourselves sel selves and respond immediately if it's, a, if it's a local attack. If a strike is warranted, uh, then recommendations need to be provided to the president. Those recommendations come through uh, from me. Uh, and, and after I've uh, consulted with the chairman of the Joint Chiefs and also uh, uh, the uh, combatant commander, the deputy secretary uh, would have done the same thing. And, and she has all of the capabilities and situational awareness to, to do that. In Except the president wasn't aware. The president of the United States was not aware that you were not in the chain of command. So but, God but, forbid there was a retaliatory strike. Yeah, that but, would have caused potential delays, and it is unacceptable. Let me ask you this. What disciplinary action would a junior service member face if he or she failed to properly notify their chain of command and failed to report for duty? If, uh, if, a, if a service member was in a hospital, I think uh, the chain of command would, uh, would be concerned about why they were in a hospital and, and, uh, and make sure that uh, they're doing the right things to take care of them and their families. But don't you think it's their responsibility to notify their commanding officer? I, I think... Uh, the answer is yes. Possible, yes. In, in my case, uh, you know, I, I would expect that my organization would do the right things to notify uh, senior leaders uh, if I am the patient in the hospital. Yeah. It is unacceptable, and you have admitted as such that there was a breakdown in communication with the President of the United States, and I highlight the exact time, 4 a.m. January 4th, when you consider 10th Mountain Division soldiers and the potential for retaliatory attack, that breakdown is unacceptable. And you said something very important. You said there was never a break in command and control but yet the President of the United States was not aware that you were outside of the chain of the command. So is the President not a part of this command and control? Don't you believe that the Commander-in-Chief and the SecDef, that is critical for command and control? Uh, it, uh, he is uh, clearly uh, at the top of the chain in terms of command and control, but what's important is that uh, you know, we provide him uh, with uh, um, credible options uh, and that, that, that he can pursue to address any situation. And it would have happened in this case because- Except he was Secretary unaware. So what's important is the president was unaware of this breakdown in command and control, and you were not there in terms of who he would Generally, hear from. Generally, time's expired. Chair, and I recognize gentlemen from- Division soldiers, the president's chain of command would have and could have broken down. Chair, and I recognize the gentlelady from New York, Ms. Stefani. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. On the morning of January, the U.S. carried out a significant strike against a senior Iranian-backed Larry Fourth. Mr. Secretary, you were in the critical care unit. The acting Secretary of Defense, oh, you were outside of the chain of command during this U.S. strike. If Iran or... ...selves and respond immediately if it's a, if it's a local attack. 
If I sh and on January 4th, at approximately 4 a.m. our time, this was vacationing in Puerto Rico, and President Biden was unaware that you were not in the chain. Its proxies in Iraq or Syria had carried out a retaliatory strike against 10th Mountain your service there in the North Country. But on this same date of January 4th, constituents that I represent, do you understand why this is unacceptable to the strike it is warranted? Uh, then recommendations need to be provided to the president. In Iraq, correct? That's correct. And because President Biden did not know down potentially delaying presidential orders to protect lives of American forces, American people, and to those military families. Uh, well, well, thanks. Uh, uh, first of all, I would... Do you know how many 10th Mountain Division soldiers were deployed and are still deployed? I say that uh, when we're attacked, we have the, the right to defend ourselves. So, uh, uh, you know, I know that they are deployed. I don't know what the number is. It's uh, just over 2,500 command. Now, as you know, I represent Fort Drum and the 10th Mountain Division, which you know well. Thank you. Deployed today in Iraq and Syria in support of Operation Inherent Resolve.